Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I just recently bought Dark Souls and the custom key bindings for this game are absolutely ridiculous. So this is a guide for key bindings that I find that actually make this game playable. So let's get right into it. Um, first of all, you're going to want to turn down your camera sensitivity. Um, it's way too, it's up here when it starts off. You're going to need to definitely make sure that's down there your right hand which is your power attack your your main weapon is going to need to be your left click which is your index finger on the mouse just makes sense the right click or the the left hand needs to be on the right click for uh, your usually your shield or a parrying weapon uh, this makes it a lot easier again the strong attacks just double left click to make sure you match them up right double right click for your parry um, on this menu we're going to have our use item and interact as nothing We'll see why in a minute. Uh, to wield your weapon with two hands is the mouse wheel click. I find that the easiest. Your switch items and spells just up and down on the mouse. It's pretty easy. And this one is not used very often, but just make sure you match them right. With the left and right click and just add control. This could also be used as shift, whichever is more comfortable for you and then everything else in this category is nothing uh, on this one is a little pain because you don't exactly get to map it exactly how you want you get to choose from these default settings which is silly look at all these these it's crazy ridiculous to try and play this game with these but this is a simplified version uh, over here your run obviously WASD um, I have your dash as Q because it's right next to my main finger here on W and jump space and this auto dash with the left shift this can also be control if you wanted uh, just click this and then when you press WASD you'll be running which you can you know use to run off ledges and jump you know stuff like that so just click it when you want to turn it on and again when you want to turn it off it's easy uh, these you don't really need to worry about the camera is pretty good in this game again this is doesn't need and on this menu is where you're going to want to have the use item, which I have as E, which is right next to my interact, or my W button right here. And interact as enter, which is easy. And the only other one I want to show, did I miss it? Aha, right here, reset camera or the target lock. The target lock is the important thing here, which is R, which again is right next to my finger here. It's a really good placement for it and anyone that knows how to play Dark Souls needs to know that they need to lock on their enemies or they're going to die horribly. But that is, I find this to be the best setup. I hope this helped you guys out and uh, good luck dying. <laughs> See you later. 